Here's your ale, my friend. As you know, I'm absolutely fascinated by the so-called shorter races of Kryn. Dwarves, Kender and Gnomes. So let's talk about the history in Kryn, shall we? Now dwarves, if you ask them, were created in their deity Rayrox's image. But from less biased and well more research resources, I have heard differently. Now of course this tale starts with Rayrox. He is the god that created the stars and the souls of mortals from chaos. Thus, he is known as the father of all and nothing. Of course, making a world is hard work, and thus he asked for assistance, the race of men. In total, one eighth of all men went across the sea to learn from Rerox. Of course, at first it was all good, but Rerox found that men tended to tilt towards good or evil and rarely were neutral. This being important because Rerox himself was a god of neutrality. They also tended to become proud of their skills and would use it for their own benefit. This angered the god and he remade these men into a new race. As they had become tinkerers under him, so they will remain. Taking away the craft he had taught them, he left this new race with only the burning desire to tinker and build, invent and construct and thus the small race of gnomes was born into Kryn. Now Hidokel, a lower deity known as the Prince of Lies, had witnessed the above events and wanted to mess with it. He saw how long it took Rerox to forge order out of it and it was not working and one who also agreed was the goddess Chislev, also known as the Lady of the Woods. Hidukel went to Chislev and pushed that evil was losing and that the only way to save the situation was for neutrality to take full control. Chislev agreed and got Rerox to make the grey gem. It was a marvellous piece of work, a large grey stone of many facets, designed to hold and radiate the essence of Lunitari, the red moon of neutral magic. And in it was only supposed to be trapped a piece of chaos, but instead it trapped the whole deity. The grey gem though had gained sentience and was corrupted by chaos. It never looked the same to two people and changed its size and look constantly. A failure, Rerox tried to save face by hiding the gem in the heart of Lunitari. Hidukel now turned his attention to the gnomes and appeared to their priests as Rerox, presenting them something they could not refuse, a great new invention. The contraption would be powered by a magical stone that Rerox would have, the grey gem. Now the gnomes being tinkerers tinkered. Soon, the machine was built 30 times the size and mechanisms that had no purpose was on it. As crazy as it looked, all agreed that it would work once the stone was put in. The machine now done. Fake Rerox then found a gnome that truly worshipped his arts. Through a vision, the lowly gnome saw a grey gem and needed to get it. To do it, he of course invented and came up with the self-propelled lunar extension ladder that would lift him into the sky. Pulleys, counterweights, cogs, wheels and a horrible noise when it worked. Hidekel, seeing this, smiled. So with that, the gnome made his way all the way to the scarlet moon itself. Now with the magical net that Hidukel as Rerox gave him, the gnome achieved his goal and got hold of the gem. He then started to descend to Kryn and wanted to place the grey gem into the great invention. But when he opened the net, the grey gem leapt into the air and floated off to the west. Many gnomes seeing this and knowing that they needed the gem started to pack up and chase after it. They followed it to the shore and then to follow it, Further, they built ships and from there they were at the shores of Ancelon. The real Rerox was very concerned with the Grey Gem as he knew that it caused havoc wherever it went. Beasts and plants reshaped, new races sprang up overnight and even night and spells were warped. The gem was not anchoring neutrality but instead swaying the position of good and evil wildly in either direction. Only then did Rerox understand that he had been tricked. From here, the Grey Gem will appear before Gargath, and thus would gain the name of the Grey Gem of Gargath. Find out why next time, until next word.